Listen, this generation is wicked. The police shoot niggas, but don't kill the people who shooting up schools and murdering children. And the kids addicted to social media. Or they doing perks and whippings. Promoting more killing. I'm tired of rappers who rap about drilling. Why all our women bitches instead of queens? Without a woman, wouldn't be human beings. Without a woman, wouldn't be anything. I never understood why we cheat on a good girl who kind of shot for the loud ones who cheat lie. Just know that I got a shoulder for you if you ever feel like you want to cry. I You need to grow up. You're a big girl now. Try to figure out how to stop complaining all the time and start actually solving the, the problems on your own. If you feel like you're not happy, figure out on how you're gonna be happy. If you have kids one day and you're not happy, you're gonna have to get it together for them. You got a family to feed. You got a big career here. Get yourself together. Nobody's in charge of your happiness. You gotta grow up. You have to do what you have to do to grow. And people who really love you and who really believe in you will understand. And it will be tough in the beginning but they will understand and they will just want you to be happy and and want you to grow into the person that you need to be and and you can't you can't carry what do you call a dead weight yeah. you know what i mean like you can't do that because if you're being weighed down how can you bring anybody else up so you got to be good before anything yeah. you stay away from that person because you're not healed life is going to show you one way or another whether it shows up in that person or somebody else or another incident life is for you not against you so it's not necessarily that person so that's where our ego gets involved we think it's that person it's not that person it's life showing up as that person manifesting as things that just, we're just helping each other walk our own selves home right we are all interconnected. I feel like I'm I'm really like my own competition right now. I feel like I'm in my own lane. I feel like nobody's fucking with me respectfully. <laughs> I really do. Insecure women are very competitive with other women. I am not competitive because in my eyes there is no competition. I believe that every woman should feel that way about herself. And then that way we won't have the tits for tats and the oh she's wearing this and the oh why is she wearing that. We wouldn't have that if women were confident and secure and knowledgeable. And then I think that we'd all, we wouldn't even be having this conversation because we would all understand that. You guys, I just turned my dog into a spooky skeleton and I am obsessed. This is Adea and her previous design was a bit yellow as you can see. But today we're gonna give her a skeleton design. This was inspired by Katrina Short when she turned her dog into a skeleton in 2020. We're of course using only pet safe dyes from Opaws to make this happen. And let me tell you, I was just not ready for how much work this was gonna be. So eventually it became everybody's job so Adea wouldn't have to stay too long at the table. We could have achieved the same look by getting her into a Zampic, but I felt like this way would be faster. And during the bath, I asked Everton to use the Hydro Deep Conditioning because I want her bones to look fluffy and soft, of course. And I feel like I need a Halloween song to review this look. external distractions and just focus on the process itself and enjoying it every single day chopping wood carrying water greatness is not meant for a few chosen people it's, it's meant for those who persistently pursue their dreams every day and make that choice when they wake up Spend some time Ay bendito, different type of rico Life on the line for playing foul just like a free throw We shoot each other blind but all the killing getting vetoed I thought we had the cheat code What happened to my people? The world's on fire The world's on fire
what is the most aspirational career that you want to have? In the US, the number one was influencer. Social media influencer. The world's on fire. The world's on fire. The world's on fire. These cosmetic procedures are becoming so popular with teens, young patients wanting surgery so they can look more like they do in filtered selfies. What happened to all our women miss independent and winning the image of social media give them alternate visions listening to the music developing how they thinking with with no leaders to step in and tell them different man it's sickening these girls are barely grown but learn how to work a pole before they learn to work a stove got them altering their body cause the pressure made them fold I hate to see the way that's gone look when they get old I'm just praying for your soul I'm praying for your peace trust me the last thing you want to be is for the streets sleeping around with different guys Got you feeling incomplete Only asking what's your size Cause he knows you sell it cheap It's a different type of deep And I hope you understand it Cause you don't need a body or a man For you to manage You just gotta make a plan You the strongest on the planet Your mind is the advantage Hard to calculate the damage With the world on fire they say two wrongs don't make it right You've gone from what I like to going out of my life Texting me when you and your thoughts alone at night But Gotta leave you on red Communication is dead Won't let you get in my head I'm standing on what I said Won't even shed light on the rumors you try to spread I'm really just gonna put it to bed So I don't even need a reason You went and had a season It all felt good to the moment that it seeped in It's when you realize that you've fallen off the deep end And everything we had had a lot more meaning and I thought that I gave you everything that you needed. And I gave you everything. No more sorries, something you just can't afford. No more sorries, something you. When it doesn't bother you like it used to, you found peace, baby. Yeah, yeah. Pat yourself on the back. You deserve that. You became numb and void to that nonsense. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't bother you. You know how to continue to stay in your peaceful state of mind. You understood not to hold no grudges. You just held them accountable and changed how you dealt with them. Yeah, yeah, that's how it worked. Keeping yourself a step ahead, understanding this is chess, not checkers. Yeah, yeah, man, that's how it's supposed to work. You becoming an educated empath. Yeah, educated empaths is a narcissistic person's worst nightmare. For real. Because they know you understand, but they can be fooled because they feel like they still can get over on you. But nah, you're too smart for that. Keep doing your thing. Continue to stay in your peaceful state of mind like you are. Don't go back in that trauma way of thinking. Understand the now moment is the most precious moment of all. Create that peace in the now moment. And you win forever. Facts. I appreciate everybody that got this for my message. I hope you all... Have a wonderful, wonderful day. To the shit I thought I'd never see Crazy how I'm everything they tell you You can never be Probably cause it's hard to ever be What you never see Do you hear me? I hear you bro Black man Better stand tall and keep your chin up Black man Lead by demonstration Lift your friends up Black man Move from the heart and get your mind right Black man Made lemonade out of limelight I turned the execution to a revolution We don't want your pity We want retribution We don't need excuses We need new solutions That's right Hey, split the pie with my niggas, split the pie with the fans, split the pie with my pops, still had pie in the pan. Shit, I would get you five, but I got pie on my. <laughs> Come on! Where the fuck the game up? They stopped when the elevator broke. We still came up. Know how many people told me no? We ain't changed up. Justin, who else is talking like this on here? Come no on, one, man, no I stuck one. to the cold. I kept digging and struck gold. This is the greatest story ever.
taking no more losses. I ain't taking no more losses. I ain't going through the pain. I ain't going through the suffering. I'm over that. I ain't going through the trials and tribulation because I told God that I can't go through that no more because I believe and I trust that he going to make sure I wake up in the right state of mind. I ain't taking no losses. I'm only taking wins. I'm only taking the wins to go to a championship. I ain't losing no more. I didn't lost all my life, but now that I'm winning, I ain't never want to lose again. I'm prepared to keep winning. I'm willing to go through the situation to keep getting stronger, keep getting better, keep getting wiser, keep getting smarter. Them losses turn me to a winner, and all I know is to keep winning every each and every day that I wake up. God giving me the chance to become a better person, a better father, a better individual, a better son, a better leader. I can't lose no more because I set the goal in my life. When you accept God in your life, he make you a winner for the rest of your life. I don't know what's going on with North Carolina and FEMA right now, but look at what Elon just said. He said SpaceX engineers are trying to deliver Starlink terminals and supplies to devastated areas in North Carolina right now, and FEMA is both failing to help and won't let others help. They just took this video down a few hours ago where you can see the level of devastation. Roads, houses, electricity, water supply, and ground internet connections completely destroyed. FEMA wouldn't let them land to deliver critical supplies. My blood is boiling. And the Secretary of Transportation responded to one of his other tweets saying, No one is shutting down the airspace. If you're having a problem, give me a call. And Elon said, it's literally happening right now. I'm going to follow you. DM me a number to call. I don't know what the heck is happening, but this is wild and I hope it gets figured out. Don't let time make you forget what God has promised you. I knew I needed a boost of motivation and morale and inspiration from God when I started to ask myself this question. What if it's not for me? And that's a dangerous place to be. What if it's not for me? The children of Israel were, were freed from Egypt and God had made them a promise. He was taking them to the promised land, Canaan, the land flowing with milk and honey. When they first learned about the promise, they were excited, they were motivated, they were driven, but then time happened. And, and somewhere in the middle, they started to, started to say on the journey, like, man, you brought us out here to die. How did we go from being free from slavery to going to a place flowing with milk and honey and then get to the point where you brought us out here to die? We don't even see the promise no more. All we see is our current circumstances and, and, and what was supposed to happen quickly is taking time and we start to quit. We start to give up. We start to doubt. But, but let, me, let me encourage you by saying this. God does not put time in place to establish the goal that was set. He don't put time in place to establish your destiny. That has already been established. It is set in stone. It is absolute. It's gonna happen. But time is set in place to develop you, to prepare you, to position you, to empower you for the promise. So, so what I gotta tell you all is this.